Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Justin with Coalwork Node, and uh, we are back for the final episode of this series, uh, number three. So, uh, Unity 3D AI Rival Theory using Rain Indie Assets. I explained all that in tutorial number one with the um, slideshow powerpoint i you see i've, I've uh, had a little bit of sleep now, now i'm thinking a little bit better <laughs> okay anyways where we left off i uh, we uh well number one let me start over here we left off by creating this guy uh we gave this guy i believe yeah we gave him an animation which was the walk which i had confusion about and then um let me go switch this back to none since that's where we started okay and then we uh Went over to his mine. We hit open behavior editor. We created a mine called Ghost or whatever you happen to name yours. We switched a sequencer to a uh, parallel, renamed it Start. And then under that, uh, directly under it actually, we created a uh, patrol node or patrol route node, uh, which is simply named, and it's a decision, waypoint patrol. So, after we did all that, we uh, declared, or we found, we declared what our waypoint route was going to be. If I can think again this morning, geez, I don't know what's wrong with me. Uh, that we named route one over here. Uh, so we went ahead and declared that. Then we uh, named our move target variable uh, var waypoint. So now we need to move because right now he doesn't do anything he's not going to be moving we need him to move uh, so let's go ahead and left click select our waypoint patrol unless you named it something else you can name it over here i'm going to leave it waypoint patrol so you know what's going on select that right click it we're going to create an action so create actions move that's going to fall directly under our waypoint patrol uh, it's asking for a move target. Now again, something that's not really covered in other tutorials that kind of bothers me because it's it's a big deal to understand this, I, I think. If you don't understand it, you're just always going to have to reference something. Uh, in our waypoint patrol, we we uh, declared a variable or uh, we named our variable that was already declared a uh, var waypoint. And uh, now our move option or action is uh, asking what's your uh, what, what's, what's your variable name and uh, it's simply var waypoint move speed is going to be one for right now we might need to fine-tune that he is a ghost after all maybe we want to move it slow maybe we want him going fast whatever all right also we're going to face the target var waypoint that means we're going to face each node as we're moving towards it all right so that should be it for that. I'll give you just a second. You can maybe pause the video if you need to look this over. Hopefully I explained this enough. Move target variable, uh, which was var waypoint. We named it ourselves. Um, the move speed one and also face target var waypoint. We wanted to face each node as, it, as it's moving towards it. All right. One thing that I know I forgot to do, and I'm going to go back over here to my scene view. And click on my uh, little monster guy here or my ghost or whatever you want to call them I forgot to add a rigid body so I'm gonna go ahead and add a rigid body is schematic uh, I'm gonna check that to true uh, because I don't want him falling through the floor since we're using gravity and also freeze position we're gonna freeze Y we're gonna freeze rotation X and freeze rotation Z we're not gonna freeze rotation Y because we want him looking, you know, left to right. And uh, we're going to freeze position Y because we don't move. We This is a flat plane. We don't want him going up or down or anything like that. Uh, that's obviously not going to be the case if you have stairs or, or, or whatever. Um, but this is just a flat plane. Um, and I just want him, you know, you don't even have to do that really. Let me go ahead and uncheck that. I don't need to confuse you any further, I guess. Uh, freeze, rotation, uh, X and Z. If you don't do this, if you look over here, uh, also we, I changed the direction of where he's facing. I want him to kind of face towards where he's moving. 
Uh, if you look over here, if I change my X axis rotation wise, that's not good. He's going to be flopping back and forth. That's why we're uh, adding the constraint in our rigid body uh, to freeze those rotations because rain uh, will not really know how to handle that since we allowed rotation in our AI for our ghost guy. Okay. Anyways, if you have any more questions about rigid body, you can click on this little book right here and it will open up the unity uh reference guide i think okay all right so we can uh left click on ai that is under our uh parent uh ghost person and uh on the second icon which is our mind our body we're going to uh need to fulfill this behavior tree asset you can go over here and just click on this little uh button Let's click the assets because it's not in our scene. And we're going to choose the one that we just created, which in my case, it was ghost. You might have named it something different. Right. Just click on that, accept. So now behavior tree as asset should, should be populated with the behavior tree asset that you created uh, with the name. So we got BT behavior tree, ghost. We got parallel, we got waypoint patrol, we got move. And uh, now we should be ready to rock and roll. If I press the play button, he should move around. Now he's not doing any animations. I know it's kind of hard to tell because he's a ghost, but he's definitely not doing any animations. And we're going to get to that in just one second. I'm going to let him go ahead and fulfill this path. All right. Uh, while this is moving in real time in our scene, we can go ahead and uh, uh, click over on our AI that's on our ghost guy. And in the memory, uh, as you can see, this var waypoint variable was created. We can uh, expand the value. And what you can see now is, is that he captures, or well, he already knows where each one is. And there's an X, Y, and Z. And that's why I told you, you know, depending on where this is, he can move around. You know, if this is up in the air, he's going to go to that because the waypoint, a waypoint is what a waypoint is. It, it is a, a point in 3d space. That is a location, a guide for your, for characters. Um, so you know, we got close enough distance and stuff like that. You don't have to worry about that right now, but, uh, this is in real time. If you stop this, obviously you're not going to see the variable over here, uh, in his memory. Uh, that's because it hasn't been created. It's created at runtime, which is another uh, great thing. So a little bit less confusion right there. You really don't have to worry about it if you don't if you don't really care about what's going on in depth, but I'm sure that you would. So as promised, let's get this guy moving. In case you didn't watch video one or two, I'm disappointed in you if you didn't, by the way. No, <laughs> uh, we went over to the fourth icon over here and uh, put an animation under our uh, animator or our body again. Uh, actually, it's always by, it's called, what is this called? Animation, it's just called animation. Animation icon looks like a guy's running with a gun or something like that. Um, how you do this is you just uh, add animation state. You select animations that are attached to your ghost or your character or whatever. Obviously all these are called ghosts because that's the animations that came preloaded with this uh, low poly monster asset pack all right so we need to get them animated he can move around but uh let's face it that's not that, that impressive he needs to be animating so another thing that's greatly skipped is is that uh your guy's not going to animate and move at the same time it's got to do one or the other uh because the waypoint or or the patrol route node I cannot process multiple actions at the same time. So whichever's first is, is what's going to happen. It might animate for a second, but it's, it's going to, it's going to probably keep pinging the move if that's the close one. So, uh, you want to right click or you want to left click on your parallel object on your start, right click, create actions, animate. And that's going to throw that right under our parallel. Remember what a parallel is. A uh, parallel is some is 
is the is a node that can perform two or more actions in parallel at the same time side by side it even tells you down here combining movement movement and animation with detecting play and audio etc uh, pretty much in rain if you just read all their little explanations for things or either click on this red question mark uh, you can save yourself the, the uh, tutorial watching uh, so we need a cast animation. I don't know what the animation's called. Oh, it's got it's such a such a long name. I'm just gonna copy and paste. I know that's horrible. So you're gonna type your animation name right here. All right. I'm gonna press enter, and uh, that's it. That's all you gotta do. You press play, and he should be uh, animating. There we go. Right on. It's not that impressive. Ghost needs to move side to side and stuff like that, I guess, right? It's probably a lot more difficult to set up AI for Ghost. But but overall, you should have uh, something animating right now. Uh, I'm going to go to Behavior Tree Current AI, which is our Ghost. <clears throat> the ones in yellow are the ones that are running. Our parallel is constantly running, okay, uh, which is our start. Everything under that's going to run simultaneously, side by side, in the exact same time, uh, which gives us this right here. So, I think that's pretty cool. I guess I could add a side to side motion since he is a ghost, but, uh, but he's moving around and that's the important thing. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I've got a couple minutes left to recap real quick, everything we've done, uh, since this is, uh, more involving with, uh, AI and rain, I'm just going to go over to our behavior editor real quick and explain some items. Um, as I explained earlier, uh, you have, Obviously, the first item is your behavior tree, uh, pretty much the uh, the root. And uh, I, I like how they name that. Root is probably a better name uh, for, for where you're taking off at because they call it behavior tree. Uh, but uh, you're pretty much starting at the ground with uh, the name of your behavior tree. And then you're, uh, let me switch back over to here. There we go. Actually, I'm gonna press play. I'm gonna have this running in actual time. Okay, and uh, we switched our sequencer over to a parallel. As I explained a couple times, what a parallel is, just because it's one of my uh, favorite nodes in uh, in Rain, <laughs> other than the constraint node, which we'll explain in the uh, second video series. Uh, re chain or whatever I called it in the second video, <laughs> uh, is, is another one, but, um, we created parallel under that. We recreate, we created a, a waypoint patrol, uh, make sure I call that right. Yep. Waypoint, waypoint patrol node, uh, which is just simply called patrol node under node type. Uh, all this does is it's simply explained down here, iterate through a set of waypoint route patrol points uh, add a child move action to create a patrol behavior okay so uh, it literally it just told you what to do <laughs> create a child move action <laughs> and as we did and uh, all we did once we uh, declare or named our variable over here and declared our waypoint route over here we shot over here and plugged in our uh, waypoint variable our target variable and uh, plugged it in over here and you know done our move speed up so you can turn this move speed oh, there we go that's a fast ghost All right really fast 
Maybe I can make Pac-Man later. I don't know. Anyways, I'm going to turn him down. It's running in... It's running in real time, so... That's why it keeps uh, knocking me off here. Okay, and anyways, uh, then we went up back to our parallel and created an animation uh, state or action uh, under that. You can't put the animate under your, your waypoint or your patrol route node because your patrol route node's not, not a parallel object or, you know, a, uh, what do they call them? a decision. Uh, it only handles one decision. That's going to be move. Uh, you, that's going to be your child node, pretty much. It, it can only handle that. If I were to put this under here, I'll show you exactly what happens. One or two gets ignored. A lot of people I see on the forums. There we go. I was wondering why it won't let me select. A lot of people I see on the forums say, oh, well, my guy's animating great, but he's not moving. Or either my guy's moving because move this over here. Now he's going to move. Oh, no, he's not. Move succeeded. I know why move succeeded now. Uh, move succeeded because of uh, uh, it returned a variable. So, yeah, it, they don't move at all. They just animate. So, <laughs> yeah, there you go. You could have it set up like that, but I think this way makes more sense. And there you go. Now you can see that he's constantly running. You know. Uh, so your waypoint patrols constantly grabbing a variable and then your move is moving to that variable uh, that's your uh, waypoint patrol set and then you're animating I know it kind of sounds like a lot but AI it is it's artificial intelligence <sighs> and uh, it's boring and it's already making me yaw so. <laughs> but it's really fun it's fun. It's just, uh, it's, it's not fun to explain. It's probably not fun to listen to me explain. All right. So that's it for this video series. I, uh, hope you learned something. Sorry for all the rambling and things like that. Uh, I was really just trying to do a breeze through series on the basics to get you up and running with rain. We're going to go more in depth with the next couple of series. Um, then we're going to pick up where we left off with creating our game. Um, as in our video series or unity series number one uh, but we're going to be using rain ai in that so i figured i would put that on pause and go ahead and explain rain a little bit to you uh, so that's it for today i hope you enjoyed also uh, make sure you look out for new videos on tuesdays and thursdays there might be some random surprise videos on mondays but for sure all videos will be uh, released tuesdays and thursdays so I uh, hope to see you guys later. If you have any more questions about any Unity 3D asset that you may be using, uh, please just post it in the comments. I'll be sure to look into it. Uh, I use all the, pretty much every Unity asset that's that's program wise. <laughs> so uh, just uh, add a comment or send me a message. Thanks.